Hey, what's going on? Getting ready to do a grip safety swap, mainspring housing swap on this uh, Colt Series 80 Enhanced. Place this duck bill. One guy on YouTube had a stainless commander. I think it was Jeff Shoot Stuff. Did a swap on his and it turned out pretty good. And I already kind of cheated a few days ago and uh and tested this out I'm already gonna I know I'm gonna have to remove a little bit of material right up along here because it just basically just sits right up against the trigger bar there's no room for it to move up and then trigger to move back and this is the uh, metal mainspring I went went ahead and went with the back to the arch even though I guess the arch and the uh, I, I hate speed bumps in my grip safety but I'll just have to deal with it and I just went ahead I left the damn grip screws off other than put them back on take them back off again so I may show it in the middle of uh, me messing around with it, but uh, hopefully I won't mess anything up. We'll see how it goes. Alright, I think I got this thing fitted. You know, you got that little bit of back movement there. That allows the trigger to go back pretty smooth. It seems like it's okay from the inside looking at it. So I'm going to try to put this thing back together and see. I don't know. I need to yeah it seems to be resetting back and forth back here pretty good it's not just near there's not near enough movement the biggest thing is always when you're testing it have the thumb safety in place that way you won't get a false positive you know keep it lined up and all that this is the finished product the beaver tail swap i'd actually did the swap a few days ago but i'd uh run into a bit of an issue i'll tell you about in a second but just give you an idea of what it the the blend looks like on it I mean it ain't like it's a I mean it's a drop in so you know, like you can expect it to look like this you know where it's all blended up in here I mean the bottom side look pretty good but I mean at the top it's not but I'm talking about on this not that less bare but let's see it's all and I'm just testing it well, let's see. Safety off. Grip safety. And then, and then the uh, trigger reset's good. I had run into an issue after I put it back together. Uh, the I was dry firing it sometimes, and the hammer would sometimes fall to the half cock. Or I just, series A's would only have a half cock, I guess, but it w it wouldn't hit in the firing pin. And so I uploaded a video showing it, and I showed it to Tactical Tuckfard, and I told him what was going wrong with it, and he did a video showing me a few ways to test, a few tests I needed to run on it to kind of determine see what was going on wrong with it, so we could figure out the problem was. And I'd spend all the time, you know, filing the grip safety. I got impatient putting it, the Series 80 stuff back in it, the firing pin block. I didn't put it in right. It was This was actually the first time I ever done a full disassembly on Series 80 anyway. I'd done plenty of Series 70s, but not that Series 80. And there's a few, there's two little parts there. One uh, goes in with the sear pin, the other part goes in with the hammer pin. And I just didn't have it in together right. And so it was causing it to... Uh, I dry fired it, it would stop right there sometimes. But he, uh, he helped me out there, showed me a few tests I needed to run on it, and I put it, uh, took it back apart, put it together carefully this time, and kind of and really looked at it right there on that bullshit Series 80 stuff. I mean, I guess not really wrong with Series 80 stuff, but, but anyway, it looks a lot better now, especially even with the metal mainspring house. And I was kind of. Most people don't really have arched mainsprings with a beaver tail, especially for the speed bump, but this, if it, if it feels nice. The problem I've had with, I got with this, uh, Les Bear is it's so damn pronounced on the speed bump. It's just kind of squared off here, or this one, I mean, it's square, but it's not, it's less pronounced here. And maybe the arch helps, you know, dig back in the back side of the hand more, but. Anyway, this is it where how it turned out. Also, in the uh, the 
this the part number right there you can see it 429 BC I mean that's nothing Wilson sells one called 429 BG for government models I mean this is a government model but it has the it's an enhanced model so it has the rounded uh, frame tangs on it so it's more for commander like if you watch uh, Brownells uh, drop in Wilson beaver tail video they have an enhanced model like this but they put the damn wrong grip safety on it they put a one for the uh, GI tangs so it doesn't look good at all compared to compared to this one the, the blend on it's just I mean it's just sticking out there's a big gap there it just doesn't look near as good there's nothing you gotta watch out for so if you got an enhanced model or if yours came with a duck bill beaver tail you can put one of these on so I guess it's the 429 BC for the blue I don't, I, you have to just look up the uh, stainless number but thanks for watching see y'all later